friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Carmenita thank you so much for clicking on this video before you leave don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a comment let me know what you think uh, after you've done watching this this video so um this video has been long 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 overdue you guys long overdue but i just of course been busy working yada 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 you know the story so um this is going to be my one year update in my new mobile home well manufactured home if you're new to my channel i purchased my manufactured home in 2022 it is a three bedroom two full bath double wide um it's 1352 square feet and i absolutely love it um i purchased it from clayton homes and i did have a land home package is what i did and so i got my land first and then i went to clayton homes to do the process of the manufactured home so in the six month video if you haven't seen that i will link it somewhere up here so in my six month video i had a lot of issues going on um just a lot of sediment in my toilets and my sinks and things like that so I just I'm so happy to say that all of that is gone um, the only issue I really have now you guys is just me still having to go underneath the house to drain the filter um, I did have to have a filter put on my well because of the sediment issue and so I personally feel like they should have done that in the beginning but <clears throat> that's neither here nor there <laughs> so um i'm still having to go under my underneath the house and drain it like at least once a month i would say and so i contacted the guy who placed the filter on the well and i asked him what are of any other options that i have besides me having to go underneath this house you know every month and draining this filter so he told me about an automatic flush valve and so i was like okay what's that and he said it's something that will automatically flush the filter so that i won't have to go underneath the house to do it myself so i asked him if he could get a price for me and let me know you know how much it's going to cost and we'll go from there so like a couple of weeks later <laughs> he texted me and told me that the automatic flush valve was going to cost me 700 dollars, and that's just for the flush valve alone and I'm just thinking to myself, um, yeah, no. So I decided to go on Google and I saw some automatic flush valves for like 250. So I said, I'm just gonna wait <clears throat> and see um, what happens or whatnot because he also said that I have to have an electrician come out and put an outlet somewhere underneath the house or on the side of the house or whatever, I'm not sure. But not only would I have to have the flush valve, I have to have the uh, outlet put in too. And of course that's going to cost extra money as well so that's the only thing that i'm just so irritated about but everything other than that everything has been perfect with this house everything has been fine i've been through many storms and you know i'm still here by the grace of god thank you and um that's it you guys at first i was not in love with my home i will be honest at first i just hated it you know because of all the issues that i was having but over time you know I I didn't give up and I decided to just work through the issues and you know just see what happens and so now I'm truly loving the home I'm still not in love with it <clears throat> um, just because of other reasons but I, I do love the home I'm thankful I'm so grateful for this home no more apartment living no more going up three flights of stairs um, I'm just so thankful for that and not only that it's peaceful it's quiet my neighbors are great my neighbors are absolutely wonderful I thank God for that because oh my goodness <laughs> to be around bad neighbors is on your first you know when you first buying a home it's just the, the worst thing ever I feel like so yes my neighbors are a true blessing um, I do have HOA no issues at all they have approved everything that I have requested so far so I'm blessed you guys I'm thankful I know I've also gotten some questions previously about like the process and you know did I have my own land and all of that and you know how long did it take and um, what does your credit score have to look like things like that you don't have to have a perfect credit score um, to do this process I believe it, it's 620 or 640 and up something like that I'm not 100% sure 
um, no I did not have land I went and found my land first of course and then I got a realtor for that part but the realtor did not help me with the home process she only helped me with my land and um, and the reason being was because they said that she didn't bring me to them which is why they weren't going to work with her on that part of it but they did work with her on the land so i was able to have a realtor for that excuse me um also uh what other questions did i get um the process it just depends on how long it takes because you may have a sales representative that goes on vacation a couple of times but it just expect for the process to be at least five to six months that's what i try to say at least five to six months just because you got to get permits and they got to find contractors to do things like that and just just whatever some you know there's always some hiccups with this process too um i had to wait for like a month and a half just to get um uh, i think it was i can't remember the what permit we were waiting on but I think it was for the septic or something like that I'm not sure but it took the guy like literally a month and a half just to sign a piece of paper and not and he that's how backed up he was so again it just takes some time so just just know that it's not an easy process and it's not a quick process also my daughter is very happy here uh, she loves her school she loves her friends she told me that if we move again it better be in a two-story house <laughs> because she does not want to move ever again so you know i'm just grateful you guys this is just a quick um one year update um everything is working so far i haven't had any issues like i said nothing whatsoever and i'm just thankful for that and now i'm just you know just trying to decorate it finish the yard of course we're coming into planning season coming to an end so i'm getting ready to kind of get started on the inside of the home but Yes, I'm so grateful. I've gotten many, many, many comments from other people saying how they still live in their 1975 mobile home or their 1980 mobile home. And, you know, they did things over the years and it's still standing. They love it and they've raised a family in it. So for anyone who thinks that just because you're living in a manufactured home or a mobile home that you know it's not gonna last that long that is not true whatsoever my grandmother is still in her mobile home from when before i was even born she actually had it bricked over the years and it looks like a regular house but it is a still a single wide mobile home and so i'm just continuing my family's legacy i'm the only one in the family who has a manufactured home on my own land and i'm proud of that i'm very very proud of that i'm proud that you know i went through that process and went through all the emotions and all the feelings and everything because in the end it is definitely worth it I wouldn't trade it for the world i probably would have went with another company maybe but i don't think in north carolina there's not a lot of options for manufacturers other than uh deer valley and deer valley only goes to certain areas so i had to um, go through clayton homes but it's fine i had a great sales rep he was 100 percent knowledgeable of everything and he was very helpful he kept in contact with me um, each and every time I had a question he did answer it so even though sometimes it took you know a few days or whatever but he always answered my question each and every time so just make sure when you go and you get ready to get started with this process ask all the questions that you guys are thinking of asking me ask that sales representative that's what they're there for they are there to give you all the info that you need to get this process started because honestly stick bill homes are just they're continuing to go up and go up and go up and i'm sorry but if i'm a first time home buyer i'll take what i can get honestly if i were you that's just that's just my opinion i will take what i can get until i can get something better and honestly i think that's the smartest way because if you if you want a certain house but you don't really have all the funds to get the house that you want why not get a manufactured home live in it for two to three years sell it okay sell it build up equity in it sell it and then get the home that you truly desire that's i mean that's a no-brainer right there to me <laughs> so yeah i just want to let you guys know the one year update everything is great everything is wonderful and continue to follow me on this journey i'm still doing things in my yard i got some more projects coming 
I still got some things I got to do in the house. And so, yeah, I'm just going to take you guys along. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Please give this video a thumbs up. We are trying to grow. We are almost at 2000 curl friends. So excited. I think we're at 1998 or something like that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's been a long time coming. So anyway, I love you guys so much. And leave me a comment down below. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Peace. You should know. You're looking at a self-made woman. You should know.